We will be doing an NDAG laser peel procedure for this patient today and applying calcium serum over the treated area to see its effects on the skin post laser treatment. The NDAG laser is only used for demonstration purposes. Other resurfacing lasers, including fractionated lasers, can be used. Calcium serum may also be applied after chemical skin peels as well as micro needling treatments. Before we start, let us go through the facial aesthetic zones that will be treated and where calcium will be applied. Broadly speaking, the first aesthetic zone includes the forehead area and extends down to include the nose. The second aesthetic zone comprises the right side of the face around the eyes, moving down the side of the nose and skirting the sides of the upper lip, mouth and chin. Remember that this area extends all the way to the side of the face to the skin in front of the ears. The third aesthetic zone is identical to the second facial aesthetic zone but is on the left side of the face. The fourth aesthetic zone comprises the upper and lower lips. Treatment may extend down to include the neck and decollete. For most purposes, extending down just beneath the jawline should be sufficient. The NDAG laser procedure comprises the following steps. 1. Facial cleansing. Ultrasonic microdermabrasion, but other forms of microdermabrasion may be used. 3. Application of Emla, topical anesthetic, for 30 minutes. 4. Application of Micronized Carbon, 20 micron size, over the treatment area after removal of Emla. 5. The Micronized Carbon is allowed to sit for 15 minutes. 6. NDAG laser treatment with two passes of quasi-long wavelength NDAG followed by two passes of 1064 wavelength NDAG. 7. Post-laser treatment, mottling erythema will be observed over the treated skin. It can also be seen that there is skin swelling and the treated skin demonstrates reduced pore size, partly due to tissue edema. Before callosum application, it is important to cleanse the skin of oily residue as mineral oil is used as the carrier of the micronized carbon in this procedure. Other laser procedures may not require this step. Calcium is now applied over the facial aesthetic zone, starting with the forehead and nose. For demonstration purposes, only one side of the face will be treated. In this case, the patient's left side is being treated. Using a syringe, calcium is applied slowly in drops onto the treated area with the non-dominant hand. The dominant hand is used to gently massage the calcium in. Small circular motions are employed to ensure good penetration of calcium. Using the same technique, calcium is applied onto the second aesthetic zone on the left side of the face. Finally, the fourth aesthetic zone is treated. Calcium may be safely applied onto the lips. Now compare the two sides of the face. The side of the face treated with calcium shows decreased redness and the swelling will rapidly subside on the treated side as well. Tightness of the face is an indication of tissue swelling. To stretch the cheek skin, ask the patient to smile broadly or say the letter E. Now ask her which side feels less tight and she will point to the callosum treated side. Pain will also be decreased on the callosum treated side. Callosum treated side of the face is less red, less swollen, less painful and less tight. 